Until recently, I thought my light automations were pretty solid. The lights turn on and off automatically when motion or presence is detected in a room. They light up my stairs when somebody walks up to them, and they turn off again when they're not needed. But a couple of weeks ago, my mum and dad stayed over in my spare room. On the second morning, my mum says to me, The automatic lights are too bright at night when I get up and go for a wee. It hurts my eyes. It really is important to make sure that your smart home works for other people who live in it and for guests that may come over. In fact, I made an entire video about it, which I've linked in the description below. My mum was right though. It was far too bright in parts of the house in the middle of the night. I just never noticed before because I don't sleep in the guest room, unless I get woken up with a sharp elbow in the middle of the night and told that I'm snoring. But I digress. I needed to find a way to automatically adjust my smart light brightness throughout the day based on different circumstances. I then also remembered that the colour temperature of lights can affect your mood, sleep, and other biological factors. There have been several studies that show that higher temperature bluer lights make you wake up, whereas lower temperature red lights make you sleepy. It's all to do with circadian rhythms, apparently. Yes, yeah, science! I decided to use this as an opportunity to figure out how to make my lights react to the time of day and a few other factors to automatically turn on at the perfect brightness level and colour temperature. Let's take a look at what I did. The first thing I wanted to solve was the brightness. I can't have my mum getting sore eyes in the middle of the night. After we did a bit of experimentation, we decided that the ideal brightness at night was 10%, and the 30% brightness that I was using before could continue to work during the day. I decided that the best thing to do would be to create a template sensor, which would store the value that I wanted the light brightness to be set at. A template sensor returns a value based on a bunch of data and programming logic, so I could configure it to return different brightness levels based on the time of day. I went into my home assistant configuration.yaml file and added a new template sensor called light brightness. I then added a few if statements to return the correct brightness based on the hour of the day. Don't worry, I put all of this into a blog post on my home automation guy website, which I've linked in the description below, so you can copy and paste them into your own configuration file and you don't have to try and read them off the screen. Anyway, you can see that the first line of the template checks to see if the current hour is greater than or equal to 23 or if it's less than or equal to 7. Basically, is it between 11pm and 8am? And if it is, set the brightness to 10. Otherwise, set it to 30. Whilst I was in here, I decided to create a second template sensor for the colour temperature that you can see here. But instead of it checking for the time of day, I set it up to change the colour temperature of the light based on whether the sun was in the sky or below the horizon. You can see in the template here that it checks to see if the sun is below the horizon, and if it is, it sets the colour temperature to 375, which is a nice warm colour. If the sun is not below the horizon, it sets the colour temperature to 200, which is a brighter bluer light. These are my red values, which is how my Philips Hue lights interpret colour temperature. To pick these numbers, I didn't do anything scientific. I just stood in front of my lights with the Home Assistant out open, and dragged the slider until I found the temperature I liked the most, making note of the value that it showed. Now that I have my two sensors, I need to adjust my lighting automations to use these values when it triggers the lights. Let's switch over to the automation now. It's pretty straightforward. It's triggered when the motion sensors near the stairs go from off to on. That means they detected motion. A condition then checks the motion sensor light levels to make sure it's below 50 lux. I don't want any lights turning on in the middle of the day when all the blinds are open. There's just no need. And then the action of the automation calls the light.turnon service to turn the lounge first light strip on with a two second transition. You can see the brightness percent and colour temperature have some fancy templating in them that reads the state, which means the values, of the two sensors that we created just before. That means that when this automation is triggered and the lights get turned on, it will use whatever the brightness and colour temperatures are appropriate for the current time and the state of the sun. This almost did the trick but in many of my automations, I turn on a bunch of lights at the same time. In this stairwell, you can see the ceiling lights and the light strips all turning on when I walk up the stairs. This was still a little too overwhelming in the middle of the night. I don't really need all of those lights on just to see where I'm going. The light strip on its own would produce enough light late at night. I went back to my automation and set it up so that the light strip always turned on, and the ceiling lights only turned on if the automation was triggered after 8am and before 11pm. This part is much easier to follow in the YAML editor. The first part of the automation is the part that we just changed. But after the light strip action is triggered, I add a new if condition that checks if the time is between 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. And if it is, I turn on the hallway ceiling lights as well. 
I added this sort of logic to all of my communal light area automations, on the various stairs, the hallways, and in the bathrooms. If I later decide that 10% brightness is too much, or I want to change the color temperature, I can just change it in one place on the template sensors, and not need to update any of the automations. It's currently summer here in the UK, and these tweaks are working really well at the moment when the days are long. I'm not sure how they're going to fare when winter comes, and if it gets dark at 4pm, so the template sensors will make it a lot easier to tweak if I need to later on. Maybe I'll make these sensors more complex so that they return different values not only for the time of day, but for the time of year as well. That's the best thing about smart homes, you can always find ways to make things more complex. And that's exactly what I did next. I have a bunch of lights around my house that aren't in common areas, like the ones in my office, the kitchen, and the living room. We often have these lights on throughout the day, especially if it's cloudy outside, which has been known to happen here in the UK. I wanted these lights to update their brightness and colour temperature throughout the day to match whatever's best for my body's circadian rhythms. Conveniently, there's a neat hacks integration called circadian lighting, which does exactly that. This gives your house a more natural feel, with cooler hues during the middle of the day, and warmer tints near the sunrise and sunset. It's pretty easy to set up. Go to hacks, and then integrations, and add a new integration. Search for the circadian lighting plugin, and then follow the steps to install it. Now you can go back to your Home Assistant configuration.yaml file and enable the plugin by adding the circadian lighting key in like this. You'll then need to add a switch with the platform circadian lighting. Give it a name and then add your lights. I'm using the lights underscore CT key for this, as my Philips Hue lights accept color temperatures in my reds. If your lights accept a different type of input, you can use one of these other keys here. There's also one which won't adjust your light temperature, only the brightness. There are a ton more options that can be configured, and you can see those on the Integrations GitHub page. Once you've saved this configuration, you need to restart Home Assistant, and you'll see some new entities have been created. There's a switch for each of the circadian lighting switches that you created, and a sensor which shows the current values. When you turn on one of the switches, it will start adjusting the light settings for those lights throughout the day. If you turn off the switch, the lights won't get updated. You can also check out the sensor settings in the developer tools, which shows you the current color, temperature settings, and brightness. Now the lights in my office and kitchen adjust their values automatically throughout the day in accordance to the state of the sun. It's actually pretty cool. I've not noticed that I sleep better or anything, but I do prefer the warmer color lights when it's dark outside. This feels like one of those smart home projects that I'll be continuously tweaking and optimizing to find the best combination of settings. Automated lights are some of the most powerful and important parts of any smart home, so thank you mum for helping me make mine better. My favorite smart home automation is still the one that adjusts the light brightness in my living room when I pause or start playing media on my television. I use this multiple times a day and it still just feels magical. If you want to see how I did that, Check out this video here, it's got all of my favourite automations in it. If you found this video useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel, it really helps me out. I'd love to have you as part of the community so that together we can make your home smarter.